Did you know that apps on Apple's iOS devices often cost more than other platforms like Android? Whether it's a one-time purchase, subscription, or even in-app purchases, iOS users are frequently paying a premium compared to users of other operating systems. For instance, a 2023 study by Sensor Tower found that the average in-app spending per iOS user was $136 annually, compared to $65 on Android, more than double. This trend isn't new. Over the years, Apple's App Store has consistently been associated with higher prices, sparking debates about whether it's due to better quality, stricter standards, or hidden costs passed on to users. This leads us to an important question. Why do apps on Apple devices come with a premium price tag? Is it because Apple offers a superior user experience? Or are there unforeseen factors driving up these costs? Let's dive into the hidden dynamics behind the price difference. Understanding the iOS Ecosystem Apple's ecosystem is designed to be exclusive, premium, and controlled. And this significantly influences the cost of apps on its platform. To understand why, it's important to look at how Apple manages its devices, services, and the App Store, which is the only official marketplace for iOS apps. This exclusivity comes with benefits for users, like a seamless experience and high security. But it also brings challenges and costs for developers, which are often passed on to consumers. Finally, Apple's App Store operates as a highly regulated environment. Developers are required to meet stringent guidelines before their apps can be approved. These include Apple's Human Interface Guidelines, which dictate everything from app layout and navigation to compatibility with features like Face ID or Siri. This creates a more polished and integrated experience for users, but it significantly increases development costs. Studies show that developing an app for iOS can be 30 to 50% more expensive than for Android, primarily due to these stricter requirements and the need for optimization for Apple's unique hardware and software. In addition to quality, privacy and security are cornerstones of the iOS ecosystem. Apple's App Tracking Transparency ATT feature, introduced in 2021, forces apps to ask for explicit user permission before collecting data. While this has been praised for giving users more control, it also adds complexity for developers who must redesign their apps to comply with these privacy standards. The cost of integrating these changes can range from $10,000 to $50,000 per app, depending on its size and functionality. These costs often result in higher app prices or increased subscription fees. Apple also wades into the market with perfect hardware, as iPhones and iPads are considered to have high-end hardware features, such as ProMotion Display, advanced processes like the newly developed A16 Bionic chip and are most certainly compatible with other Apple products. In order to harness these features fully, developers are often forced to create apps which are designed essentially for iOS, and this takes time, effort, and skills. In fact, the valuable Apple commission fees have an important part in the price of applications. We will talk about this later. Lastly, it is important to look at the size of the iOS user base. Android currently controls about 71% of the international market share, while the operating system iPhone has 28%. With 63% of global app income, based on Statista, this means that the iOS users are more willing to spend within the application, which makes this platform very rewarding, albeit slightly saturated. Developers spend more to target this premium segment because they understand that the returns are likely to be higher. Apple's App Store policies and their impact the App Store commission fees are one of the most important reasons for the increased cost of apps on Apple devices. Apple charges developers who make over $1 million per year 30% of the app's price and in-app purchases. For the small business, this rate has lowered to 15% in 2021 under the App Store Small Business Program. But the commission plays a large role in the pricing of apps of all businesses. This commission fee implies that for every dollar an app makes, the developers get only 70%, or 85% for apps developed by small companies. In order to make up for the loss, most developers change their prices by raising the price of apps or subscription fees on iOS rather than on other operating systems. For instance, Sensor Tower research revealed that subscription-based apps on iOS are 15-25% to more expensive than on Android. This pricing strategy helps developers to recover the amount they lose to Apple fees but it has a direct effect on the consumers since they are forced to pay more. Apple's commission policy also applies to in-app purchases, 
which are a major source of revenue for many apps. For example, apps that use microtransactions like gaming or streaming apps have to factor in Apple's cut into their prices. Some firms, such as Netflix and Spotify, have gone further to eliminate the option of purchasing subscriptions through their iOS apps in order to avoid the commission. This makes users sign up through other websites, which is another inconvenience to the customers, while at the same time revealing the drawbacks of Apple's fee system. Even with the cut down to 15% for the smaller developers, the ARPU on iOS is still significantly higher than on Android. Statista also reveals that iOS users spent $100 billion on app revenue in 2022, while Android users spent $47.9 billion. This difference shows that developers are willing to set higher prices on iOS because the users of Apple products are generally more affluent. In other words, the commission fees are not only being borne by businesses, but are being shifted to consumers in the form of higher costs of the apps. In regards to their commission rates, Apple defends itself by stating that the App Store offers developers markets around the world, protection against fraud, and the tools for development and promotion of applications. However, these advantages are accompanied by policies that do not allow developers much maneuvering space, as we are about to see. This monopoly over app distribution on iOS has been furiously condemned by many, most recently by the game developing company Epic Games, in what was a very public lawsuit against Apple in 2020 over fee policies. The case has focused a new public spotlight on Apple's commission fees and what it is doing to developers and consumers alike. Developer Costs for iOS Apps Creating applications for iOS has its own set of problems and is more expensive because Apple has strict guidelines and uses its own instruments. First of all, iOS developers are bound to work with Xcode, which is an IDE developed by Apple. Although Xcode is free, its availability to Mac OS only makes developers purchase Apple devices like MacBook or iMac, which cost between $1,200 and $2,500. This first cost of hardware is higher than the cost of developing an Android application, which can be developed on a wider range of devices. Apple's strict app submission guidelines also demand significant developer time and resources. Developers must ensure their apps meet specific design and performance standards, including seamless integration with features like Face ID, Apple Pay, and Haptic Touch. These requirements often lead to longer development times and higher costs. For instance, a simple iOS app can cost between $40,000 and $100,000 to develop, while a more complex app can go up to $300,000 or more, according to industry estimates by good firms. Comparatively, Android apps can often be developed for 20 to 30% less, largely due to less restrictive guidelines. Once an app is live, developers face ongoing costs to maintain it within Apple's ecosystem. Frequent iOS updates, often released annually, require apps to be tested and optimized to remain compatible. Failure to update can result in apps being removed from the App Store. According to Clutch, app maintenance can cost developers an additional 15 to 20 percent of the initial development budget annually. For example, if an app costs $100,000 to develop, developers might spend another 15 to $20,000 each year on updates and compliance. Another factor is Apple's emphasis on user experience and design. Apps must follow Apple's human interface guidelines, which prioritize sleek, intuitive designs. This often necessitates hiring skilled designers and developers who specialize in iOS, further driving up costs. A study by Upwork revealed that iOS developers tend to charge 10 to 15% higher hourly rates than Android developers, reflecting the premium placed on Apple's specific skills. Finally, Apple's review process for app submissions is known for its rigor and unpredictability. The average app review time is 24 to 48 hours, but apps can face delays or rejections due to minor non-compliance issues. These rejections mean additional development time and cost, further straining smaller developers. According to a survey by App Annie, 15% of developers reported spending over $10,000 addressing App Store rejections and resubmissions annually. The Perception of Premium Apple has long positioned itself as a luxury brand, synonymous with innovation, exclusivity, and quality. This branding influences not only the way customers perceive Apple products, but also the expectations placed on apps and services within its ecosystem. When consumers purchase an Apple device, 
whether it's an iPhone starting at $799 or a MacBook costing $1,299 or more, they are buying into a premium experience. This perception extends to apps on the App Store, where users often associate higher prices with superior quality, functionality, and design. For developers, this creates both an opportunity and a challenge. To align with Apple's luxury image, many developers feel compelled to price their apps and in-app services higher than they would on other platforms. A censored tower report highlights that the average cost of a paid app on iOS is $1 too, compared to $0.79 cents on Google Play. While this may seem like a small difference, the cumulative effect across millions of transactions contributes to a significant revenue disparity. Moreover, apps offering premium subscriptions, such as fitness or productivity tools, tend to have higher price points on iOS, with average monthly costs of around $10 to $15, compared to $7 to $10 on Android. This willingness to pay more stems from the belief that apps on iOS are of better quality, offering features like superior user interfaces, optimized performance, and tighter security. A survey of Statista revealed that 72% of iOS users perceive Apple's app ecosystem as more trustworthy and higher-end than its competitors. This belief often leads customers to justify spending extra for apps and subscriptions, reinforcing the premium pricing model. Apple's meticulous curation of its App Store further reinforces this perception. Unlike other platforms where app variety is emphasized, Apple's focus is on delivering curated experiences. Apps that meet Apple's human interface guidelines not only look polished, but also integrate seamlessly with features like Siri, Apple Pay, and iCloud, which are highly valued by users. This additional layer of quality assurance encourages developers to view their apps as part of Apple's luxury ecosystem and set prices accordingly. Finally, the perception of premium extends to the loyalty and spending habits of Apple's user base. Studies by IDC show that 65% of iOS users are willing to pay extra for apps they believe offer added convenience or align with their lifestyle. This is especially evident in niche categories like wellness apps and creative tools, where iOS consistently outpaces Android in both download revenue and user spending. The Consumer Trade-Off While iOS apps are often more expensive than their Android counterparts, many Apple users see the higher prices as a fair trade-off for the benefits they receive. One of the most significant advantages is enhanced security. Apple's ecosystem is known for its strict privacy standards and robust app review process. Every app in the App Store undergoes a rigorous vetting procedure to ensure it meets Apple's security and quality guidelines. As a result, iOS users experience fewer instances of malware or data breaches. According to Symantec, the number of malware threats on Android is nearly 47 times higher than on iOS making Apple's ecosystem a safer choice, despite the premium price tag. The polished app experience is another major draw for iOS users. Developers often prioritize creating more visually appealing and optimized apps for the Apple ecosystem because of its affluent user base. A survey by Good Firms revealed that 68% of developers feel that iOS users expect higher design standards compared to Android users. In conclusion, the cost of iOS apps is driven by a combination of Apple's ecosystem, its App Store policies, developer costs, and the premium perception that comes with the brand. For consumers, the benefits of security, a polished user experience, and fewer ads make the higher price feel justified. But it comes with trade-offs in terms of cost. On the other hand, Android users may pay less, but deal with issues like fragmented app performance and more intrusive ads. So is the premium price tag for apps on Apple devices truly worth it? Is the extra cost justified by the superior experience? Or is it a hidden cost of being part of the iOS ecosystem? This is something only you can decide. We encourage you to share your thoughts and experiences. Do you feel that iOS apps are worth a higher price? Or do you think you're paying too much for the same functionality available elsewhere? Let us know in the comments. Let us know in the comments.